Greetings, citizens of the internet. I'm Static Buzz, and I'm here to play some Dragon Crown Pro. Now, this is a game that came out on the PS3. I never played it there, but I guess there was a lot of gamers, millions of gamers, that really, really adored this game. So I figured, now that it's in 4K, that I would give it a go. I am not really a side-scrolling basher, fighter, whatever you want to call these games type of player but if it's getting that much love and the art style is really nice like it is got to give it a shot so we're gonna let this play a little bit here and once it's done we will start the game gotta enjoy the artwork and the music guess it means I should be quiet but I won't because I'm on today Wow, those are, eyes are wide open like staring at something that they're scared of. Interesting. Mm, give me that gold. Give me that money. I am liking the artwork so far. Director George Kamitani. Alright, let's give this a go. Let's go start game. No data. Like I said, I did not play this on PS3. I am a new player, so I'm going to take my time going through these menus so I don't miss anything. You must select a character. Alright, we'll select a character. Select player. We are going to be player one. Select the character to create with the L stick. Alright. We got a fighter. Strength S, Constitution A, Intelligence D, MGR. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe Magic Resistance. C, Dex B, and Luck B. Recommended for all players. A combat specialist who unleashes quick attacks using a sword and defends with a shield. <laughs> Sorceress. I'm not going to read the stats again. You guys can see them. Recommended for expert player, which I am not at this point. A witch who controls magical forces at her whim. She has high magical defense and good support magic. Wizard. Recommended for expert players. A male magician who has mastered a variety of offensive spells. Uh, speaking of offensive, dwarf. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Recommended for normal players. His rock solid body. And his hammer strikes fear into the hearts of bodies and foes. He can also throw weapons, opponents, and objects. Okay. Ah, he's drinking that. Made me want to take a swig of water. All right. The elf. Recommended for expert players. A master archer who moves swiftly. She is well rounded character I usually use range characters in games I am not sure that I'm going to use an expert player to start though right. or a class that requires expert players all right the Amazon oh yeah recommended for normal players a tough female warrior who wields a mighty axe her damage and speed increases the more she attacks all right all right I think we'll go with the warrior because that seems like up my alley to start so let's give that a try Stuart, uh, yeah, no, let's, uh, they got it close. Okay, let's short, lower those cases. Static! All right, oh, color, we get colors. Sterling silver, burnished bronze, divine gold, oh, yeah. True steel, a little purplish reddish thing going on. I like the way that glistens. Ox blood copper. Mm. Oh, wow, you can. What? That was a hand that came when I moved the right stick. All right, let's go with the divine gold. English. What are my options? Japanese, English. We'll go English. Greetings. We can put a greetings message. Greetings. It. 
to, oh, it's right there. It's bigot. That is in. And where are the? There we go. I won't do anymore. We'll just do that for now. Greeting, citizen. Great. All right, we got our character static, a level one warrior with gold armor and short sword, buckler, and a healing potion. Let's go. Well, then. you seated yourselves and called for a stein of the finest mead. Your partner, Ranny, is in a particularly good mood. Ranny is my partner. I guess that's Ranny. Quaffing the bar's spirits buoyed your spirits. When things are lively, Ranny will recount a certain tale. You were an adventurer, just starting out, and didn't know right from left. It was then that you first met. Okay. Oh, here we go. Beginning basic tutorial. Of course it is. Of course it is. I don't expect much from the combat, but we'll see how advanced it gets for a side-scroller beat-em-up. <clears throat> Move. We're moving. Jump. Jump, jump. Okay. Oh, wow. He can move pretty far. All right. Evade. R1. Normal attacks. Use combinations of the square and the L button to unleash many different attacks. All right. Normal attack. We're going to go just press the button. Strike up. Sliding down. Oh, I like that. It's like a fighting fighting game move. Oh, I had to attack him. I thought I already did the normal attack. Aerial attacks. Light ground attacks. You can use the square button and to create many different attack combinations. Guarding. Hit me, goblin. I think it's a goblin. A character's guard may be penetrated if they are struck by a strong attack or a powerful combination. But he isn't the one. Power smash can only be used when you have a weapon. A weapon that can that you have stabbed in the ground cannot be used until you X over it has oh the X over it has emptied. Okay. Power smash can be used in conjunction with it to throw your weapon. Special equipment such as crossbows can be taken from enemies or treasure caches. Press the triangle to pick it up and press the square button to use it while the user while it has remaining uses. All right. Oh, it was firing up. All right, that was a waste. I guess I'm going to have to figure that out. Items in your item slots can be selected by using the left and the right. It wants me to use the healing potion, so I push down to use it. There we go. Using that potion. When you use an item, there will be a cooldown period before you can use an item again. If you use an equipment item in your inventory, it will replace your current equipment. Alright, we're moving on. Keep, keep moving on. Food will sometimes appear when you defeat enemies or destroy containers. Alright. Pick up an apple automatically. Once you've obtained food, you will begin eating it automatically once you stop moving and attacking. Eating food will restore up to 150% of your maximum health. What? It'll give you a boost? Hmm. That's a nice. Move to the next stage. Shall I open that door for you? The rogue mm -hmm. Rennie inquired, after appearing from out of nowhere. He thought that it would be a simple matter to take advantage of your naivete and pocket some coin. 
and pocket some coin. The door is locked, but you can order Rainy the Rogue to open it for you. Okay, right to... Oh, there we go. We got a cursor and the L1. Open your door, Rogue. Let's go. You can ask Rainy the Rogue to open treasure chest. Okay, is it the same thing? It is. It is. Don't take my loot, though. Okay, orc. Oh, that's cool when you attack up and you keep attacking. He automatically goes in the air and keeps attacking. That is pretty cool. Orc down! This ends the basic tutorial. We won! Game over! Since Let's go point, home. You've been journeying under mutually beneficial terms. You handle combat, and Rani handles locks. Okay. You can select leave the tavern to go into town. Leave the tavern. Now saving. What's with the little fairy looking like Tinkerbell? I don't know. You came to Highland as an adventurer. Like many of your fellows, you strove to challenge the dangerous labyrinths here. Whoever the drew these likes some bouncy. You'd heard. That's all I'm gonna Most say. Most were lucky to even have their bones exit the ruins. You don't currently belong to the guild. I recommend registering. You can get jobs there and learn skills. Did I pass the guild? No, looks like it's still on my right. All right. It's on my right, all right. It's on my right, okay. <laughs> Jeez. Clad in full armor, the guildmaster, Samuel Joseph, stands in the center of the guild hall like a statue. Like a statue. It's because his armor is so big, his head's so small up there. Dang. He appraises you with a look and dismissively states that only worthless adventurers leave their equipment in disrepair. Uh, I just started, dude. How can my equipment be in disrepair? Your travels thus far have left your equipment positively thrashed. You resolve to rectify that before returning. Okay. The guildmaster directs you to Morgan's Magic Item Shop. The magician Morgan. is even able to repair magical equipment. All right, I guess we're going to Morgan's. Whoever that is. And it's on our left. You can now go to Morgan's Magical Item Shop. To be deemed worthy by the Adventurer's Guild, you must first repair your broken equipment. There it is. You conquer a labyrinthine set Dying. of stairs. And Morgan Lisley, shopkeeper and witch, welcomes you to her establishment. Curse for days. There is no object's repair which does not fall under her purview. From ornate magic staves to rusted axes. Welcome to my shop. Repair equipment. What would you like? Oh, my sword is totally trash. Okay. I don't know how that happened. Tutorial, that's how. Alright. So there oh, there's durability on items? I don't know if I'm gonna like that. I guess it depends on how they handle it. Adventurers come here not only for repairs, but for appraisals and to purchase magic items. You will visit Morgan. Often. Okie dokie. I don't have a problem with that. The main menu is now available. You can open it with the option button or by clicking on the player. Your equipment is now unmarred. You should return to the guild and see if the guildmaster deems you worthy. Alright, let's check out this menu first. The main menu you can change equipment to use on your adventure or check the armory which holds all the items you've obtained. Which is nothing. I hold nothing. Alright, so basically we Oh! Dope. Oh, I just hurt Rainy. Didn't mean to do that. We're in a hurry, let's go. 
Adventurer's Guild, that dash is nice. Once it goes again, on forever. The Guildmaster Samuel Joseph stands in the center of the Guild Hall like a statue. Like a statue, still. With your equipment now in tip top condition, you request to join the Guild. Samuel issues you a test of skill. What will you do? Eagerly accept the entry exam, ask the Guildmaster for details, or state you are overqualified for the test. We'll do it. Test is to help a warrior I'm a newbie. Roland. Samuel says that you can find him in the ancient temple ruins. Roland, 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 we got to find that Roland. All right, the town map is now available. You can open it with the touchpad. You can now go to the gate. To prove your metal for the guildmaster, you head to the. Hmm, Wait, back. I didn't go in there. Yikes. To prove your medal for the Guildmaster, you head to the ancient temple runes to assist the warrior Roland. All right. The town map allows you to select town facilities and quickly move about. The gate? What is that? Stables. Oh, there's... Okay, so we can't use these yet. There's a castle? What is the castle? Old Tower, you cannot use this yet. Uh, okay, Kanan Temple. Dragon Haven Inn. You organize your party and save. All right, let's go to the gate, which is where they want us to go. We're still in the early game, so there's going to be a, a lot of tutorial was stuff. Recently found in the ruins on the outskirts of town. Use that to reach your destination. Will do. Let's go. What's this? Can't go. All right, heading down the stairs. And there we go. In. That one uh, statue looked like they were welcoming welcoming us. Like, come on in, adventurers, weary adventurers, come on in. Don't worry about the monsters inside. Uh, boss? Question mark? Question mark? Question mark? Level one, ancient temple runes. Let's go. Many things lie within the ruins of the old Elysian temple. Some quiescent, some far less so. Okay. An ancient dragon spoken of in myths is said to have destroyed the Elysian civilization. Oh, we're getting loot! One night. Defeating enemies and picking up score items will earn points. These points will become experience at the end of the adventure. Oh, so you gotta win to get them? Or just, do you have to, if you die you get them? I don't know. You liberated a fairy that was trapped in a cage. Okay, hello fairy. Open it, dude. It's my turn. Done. What? Treasure rank. When you open a treasure chest, you will obtain ranked equipment. Once you return from the dungeon, you'll be given the chance to appraise, keep, or sell the equipment you gain. <laughs> Did he just go wall? Like he's Bruce Lee of the. Goblins? Oh, I'm Bruce Goblin. I have come to avenge my brother. You kill my brother. He don't talk you right. He don't walk right. At the guild's behest, he is looking for adventurers who went missing in the ruins. He don't talk right. He don't walk right. I have sworn to kill you. Swearing's easy. For you to pass your guild exam, you must help him. Roland tells you to search in the ruins that are submerged in water. Dude, where's your chest armor? Come on, what are you thinking here? Much time has passed since the missing were last seen. He tells you to bring back their bones if they are found dead. Okay, are we actually gonna find bones? What? The snakes now. No poison for me. Oh, what was that? What was that? What just hit me? It wasn't the snake. The snake was dead. Oh my. Let's see. Ooh. Oh yeah. Is it just me or does that door look like it opens up? Get it. Yes. Yeah. 
The Orc army is apparently getting here via the waterway. Their cargo? Oh no! What? I did not want to go out. No! What just happened? How come I can't go in? Farvin Nugan! Ah! There was no prompt or anything. I want to go in there. There was orcs to kill. All right, we'll continue on. What a bummer. I dodged and it took me out of the area. Okay, this is creepy. Spiders! You taking my loot, little rogue? Okay, I got... Oh yeah, eat that, eat that. That will help. I don't know what it'll help, but it'll help. Alright, here we go. Whoa! Is that a trap? I hope I didn't hit it. Is he getting hit by it? Can he die? He's a dork if he dies. Am I using up a, a use when I don't hit anything? I don't know. Alright, in we go. Doesn't show you how many uses it has left when you have it on you though. You can pick up bones that you find in the stage with the you have triangle found blood. The bones of a missing adventurer. Sometimes the dead have been known to leave behind a message right before they perish. Pour one out for me. Oh my gosh. It did not just say that. But it did. Oh yes, it did. Pour one out for me. Alright, here we go. What? He's over here. Ominous music has started. Oh, I thought that guy was dead. Oh, thought he was another one. Ah, I'm attacking my rogue. Still want to go back in that room with the orcs. Why can't I? Harpy. Oh, what? What? What was that? Ow. Oh, my sword. Get over there. Okay. Try to stay behind it. Oof. Thought that was going to get nastier than it did, but we got it. We did it. Was that a boss? To this one spread throughout the area. You exit the area, taking care to avoid drawing the attention of any... Oh, oh we got treasure. S-A-B... Oh, well, that's how we got. We got one B, four C's, and that's what we got. Oh, we leveled up. Only once, but we're level two now. There we go. Bonus score... Oh, you get bonus scores for unbowed. What is unbowed or is unbowed? I don't know. All right. We did it. Spoils. You can appraise unknown items that you claim for treasure. 
from treasure chests. You can also sell your unwanted spoils. Okay, I don't know what we need yet. Uh, wow, look at that appraised price. Alright, let's do the shield, because that'll help us, maybe. And this... Oh, does the price go up if it appraises well? It does. Oh, so it might be... Well, it didn't go up more than what the appraisal price was, so probably not. All right, what do we got here? Fire resistance at low hit points, item healing plus 20%. Items. All right, let's see. Can we... I want to put stuff on. All right, let's... No! How does this work? All right, let's go here. We want to sell this one. How do we sell? Sell. Yes. And probably we'll keep that. Oh, he can't use pole arm, so we'll sell that. That'll help. All right. And now we're done. Yes, take all spoils and quit. So you got to decide at the end what you want to keep. Kind of interesting, I guess. You have fulfilled the request. Report your work to the guildmaster. Right, let's put on our new shield first. What? Can he not use that? Alright, let's go to the guild master. I thought he could use that shield. He's a shield wielder. Who else can use the shield then? Running, we c I know we could open the map, but we're just gonna run and get there the old-fashioned way. You return to the guild to report your quest. However, Samuel gives you an additional task. <laughs> of course he does. It is possible to resurrect the dead with their bones. He tells you to go to the temple to attempt the resurrection ritual. Canaan Temple is a temple dedicated to the worship of the goddess Althena. Proceed there immediately. Okie dokie, so now we're resurrecting people. You were ordered to attempt to resurrect guild members at Canaan Temple. Yeah, I know I can use the map. I want to see how to get there the manual way right now. As you enter, a kindly voice echoes from the back. You seem to be in need of help, a monk says, and approaches you. The prayer of the monks sometimes restores the dead to life. The goddess bestows mercy to those whose time has not yet come. I don't know what to think about that monk and the way he looks. Wondering one, how can I help you? Allow this heart to beat again. Quench their thirst. Lead the wandering soul back. Reverse death. And awaken them. Defunct this? I'm not sure how the I feel about this ritual. The goddess, and the pile of bones is made new. The adventurer pledges their allegiance to you as thanks. So did I just gain a partner? Resurrect will wait for you at the inn. You can now fill out your party with those who are waiting at the inn. Please be aware. That if you leave an area and one of your party has fallen, they will become lost. Don't! If you encounter any bones during your questing, be sure to bring them back and resurrect them. 
so that they can assist you. So we're now going to be bone hunting for party members. Okay. Inez, he looks like a bad boy right there, yeah. I like it. He did die, though. What is Report Adventurers? Say, is that how you save? Is you Report Adventurers? What? Yep, that's how you save. That's weird. All right. Leave the tavern. Where else we got to go now? You have fulfilled the request. Report your work to the guildmaster. Reporting. Run in. Yeah. All right. What does the guildmaster? You've completed. Yeah, we got a thousand gold. Report, you think you see part of a smile cross Samuel's face? You are now registered with the guild. We're in the guild. We're in the guild. You may now get cooperation from guild members. They may participate in your party. And help you in completing quests. Nice. The Adventurers Guild has a backlog of quests because many adventurers are occupied with the Dragon's Crown rumors. Dragon's Crown rumors? I wonder where they got the name for the game. Hmm. The king and his retinue left to find the Dragon's Crown and are missing. Many guild members are now searching for them. The existence of this crown that supposedly controls dragons is disputed but the king was obsessed with finding it Samuel hurriedly assigns you a new task you get the feeling that he deems you reliable and trustworthy it's a request from this country's prime minister the quests details will be provided at the castle you wonder about the lives of the powerful people in that grand castle you happily accept the job you can now select learn skills. What? You can now select quest. What is learn skills? When you learn a skill, the player's skills will be strengthened. You can earn skill points by leveling up or through completing quests. What is common? All right. You can learn skills specific to the fighter. You can learn common to all classes. Let's go fighter. Cyclone. Increases duration of aerial attacks. Shockwave sends out ripples that creep along the ground. Activates. Okay, so there's a activation. Activate with the uh, up and mm -mm -mm -mm. adds a shockwave to your divine attack. Power smash and its shockwave are strengthened. Creates a powerful storm of sword attacks by rapidly pressing. Sword attacks, not storm attacks. Hold on the ground to use your shield to protect allies and temporarily increase your attack upon successful blocks. Alright, I'm not going to read all of these, but... There is probably something I should pick. I just don't know what it should be. I'm going to probably go with... What was the one that added... Oh, it is Storm of Swords. I, I don't know why I missed the of sword parts. Oh, it has not been met. All right. Oh, we'll go with that. Automatically guard when attacked? Yes. Yes. All right, how many skill points? I got one left. Increased duration of aerial attacks. Sends out ripples that creep along the ground. Uh, what... I guess we'll go with increased duration of aerial attacks. We're going to be a flying fighter. <laughs> All right, we're done there. I wonder what the common ones are. All right, we got a quest. Help the honey buzzards. We might as well accept it and probably get to do that while we're doing the other one, maybe. Destroying a re... All right. Leave the guild. All right. I think on that note, we're going to go ahead and end this first episode. I will come back and we will go to the castle 
and see what is there for we us. Accepted a new request from the guild. Yes, we did. You must go to the castle for further details. For further details. We will go to the castle for further details, but that will be the next episode. So for now, until next episode, everybody take care. Bye-bye now. Static Buzz out. All right, what options? I can't believe I can't equip that buckler. Was it not a buckler? I thought that it was a buckler. Armory. Okay, it is there. How come I can't? Do anything with it? Does it require level eight? Uh, no. Re oh, requirements level three. I'm not level three yet. All right, that makes sense. And this is level three as well. And only the dwarf and an uh, elf can wear it. Of course. Of course. I should have sold that. Wonder if I can sell it now. Ah. Eh, anyway.